No. Well, he's had such a terrific battle all the way through the championship. A far tougher assignment than uh, Stephen, really. But Stephen, uh, quite honestly, has not uh, played as well as we know he can throughout the whole of this championship. It's uh, perhaps a little disappointing from him, for him, but he doesn't mind. He still just wants one frame for his frame ultimate 30, goal, Stephen and that is the, the sixth Embassy World title. Here he goes in an attempt to get just that. Well, you could actually, actually hear Stephen sigh when he played that shot. Knew he'd miss it as soon as he struck the white. I think we'll see Peter take this one on. The only red he can leave will be the one he's taking. Yes, another good safety there. The capacity crowd here at the Crucible. Yes. 
just anxiously waiting for a mistake. There's no chance here now for Stephen to get the white <coughs> down behind the yellow and green. silent, waiting for a decision by Peter Ebner. Yes, this is a tough one. No easy path back to the bulk end. That red on the right hand, near the right hand cushion, stopping the path down that side. was always the danger. Oh, a stare from Peter at the table as he walks away. Has he made the fatal mistake? Well, the only thing in Peter's favor here, of course, is the pink and black are both tied up. One. Eighty. Well, I was playing for the blue in the right centre, but he'd be happy with that kiss because he has the angle just to screw back for the two reds near the pink in the left corner. Well, took a chance there, could have screwed back for the blue, but elected to bring the pink into play, and now this is a massive shot. You can knock the pink into the green pocket, the title could be there. Oh, 
pulled away. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. goes to 38. 38. 39. Red into the right corner again, down for the pink. 45. Another cleaning of the cue ball. And I feel the candles are starting to flicker. <coughs> the flame now becoming dimmer. My microphone is getting heavier, in fact. Yes, and hasn't got the angle this time on the pink to play for the red into the right corner. But those two reds above the black, I'm sure, maybe close on the plant into the left corner. It looks as though that's what Stephen's played for. 52. Yes, yeah, she's looking at that. Just has to be made, not quite in line with that pocket. center. Well, I feel 50. I've got three things now left to do. My commiserations to the loser and congratulations to the winner. But most of all, I want to thank all of you for sharing my world of snooker. left on the table now. World champion and world's number one star, Stephen Henry, equaling the records of Ray Redden and Steve Davis, becoming six times a winner of the Embassy World Snooker Championship. A little shake of the head from Stephen. He thought he could finish it all off there and then. Peter fighting on 
to the end. I think it's going to be in vain. Needs three snookers and black with each of the last Eight. three reds and all the colours. And again, Stephen Henry, that is a tall order. Stephen can't get off the side cushion. It's too close to the green. I think he's looking to go off three cushions. Bolt cushion, a lot of left hand side, side cushion. Has to just miss the blue. It's on the way, but it's not quite strong Ball. enough. Peter Ebden four. No misgiving. Now, of course, the reason for that being a miss cannot be given when a player requires snookers to win the frame. So Peter will now try to take two reds and two blacks here, and then play for the other two snookers on the last red. It's all over. Peter Ebden turns to congratulate Stephen Hendry, who in 1996 becomes the Embassy World Snooker Champion for the sixth time, equaling the record of Ray Reardon and Steve Davis. A fabulous performance as he salutes the capacity crowd here. And from me, I just say goodbye and thank you so much.